I just thought of a way to have some fun learning the chord tones. Um, that's the notes of the chord that you might want to feature when you solo. Um, if, if you're in the key of, uh, let's say you're playing over an A7 chord, you just got to figure out what notes are in that chord, and those are going to sound pretty good to land on. So that's going to be a root third, fifth, and a flatted seven. Um, so that's a A, C sharp, E, and a G note. So the A7 chord is E, G, A. Pretty cool. E, G, A. C sharp. E. Again, G, A. Here's a C sharp. So that's the notes on the 6th string. The notes on the 5th string A are going to be the same letter notes, just different frets. A, C sharp, E, G, A. C sharp, E, G. Good way to learn the notes. Every string is going to have a bunch of those. So on the 4th string D, we're going to start on E, G, A. so forth. The third string has an open G, which is part of an A7 chord. So yeah, this is really important to learn. A, G, or uh, G, A, C sharp, E, G, A, C sharp, E. Those are the notes of the A7 chord on the G string. Second string is C sharp, E, G, A, C sharp, E, G, A. And the first string is like the sixth string. It sounds pretty good, that EGA, as far as a little phrase starter. So then, if you go to another chord, you need to learn these, then go to the, uh, say, like the D7 chord. What notes make up a D7 chord? D is the root, F sharp is the third, A is the fifth, and C is the flatted seven. So you can figure these out, but I'll just show you a couple strings of D7. F sharp, A, C, D. F sharp, A. C, C sharp, yeah, C, D, C, D. I should have hit the chord more so my ears were understanding it. Then you got your E7, E, G sharp, B, and D. So when you solo, here's like, a, say I'm thinking of an A7 chord. Then D7. To E7. Back to A7. So that's a good way to learn your notes and a, a purposeful way that's going to actually give you something. Those are, when you solo, you're not always just playing a scale, you're playing notes of the chord, or at least you're emphasizing them. I realize what I'm playing sounds pretty um, clinical, it doesn't really sound like a solo. But if you're going for that C sharp, you know, you could go. Then the D7 is going to be an F, F sharp. D7. 
the E7, you're gonna go for a, a G sharp. Sound kind of weird. And the A7. There I hit a root. So you can target the uh, root, third, fifth, or flat at seven on dominant seventh chords. And that's just a little fun stuff. That is helpful and easy.